Okay, so uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to record and edit with Bandicam. Um, number one, you want to change your settings to, so you go to your video, uh, settings, whatever, uh, 1280 by 720, frames per second 30 because you're using motion JPEG so you don't want to drop frame, uh, quality 80 because for uploading for the web, nobody cares. Uh, stereo 4800, uh, 48,000 hertz, which is DVD quality and PCM codec, which is much better than the MPEG-1 L2 because that's very compressed and uh, none of the none of the editors like to decompress that. Uh, that's also one reason why we're using JPEG, not MPEG-1. Um, yeah, so I really hope it's actually recording this screen, what I'm looking at, and not my secondary screen because that would be pretty pretty awful um, the way I did this is what did I do there it is um, I changed my target to this screen instead of the actual program itself so it's just recording what this screen itself is seeing instead of actually the game but I'm going to change that so yeah so now I'm actually recording the game finally whatever it's just uh... oh and jump oh wow fail so yeah once we imported uh the footage. All right, it's all nice. It's all good. Uh, it's when you export, you want to go File, Export, Media, or Control M, which should be bring this up. Okay, so we're gonna go H two six four. We're gonna have a br preset which is the YouTube. YouTube. Uh, 720 drop frame um, yes I know we recorded at 30 frames exactly but we're gonna do a drop frame on this um, it just works better for digital video playback and then we can go desktop export a sequence uh, your audio you don't need uh, where is the quality up oh, there you go you don't need 320 uh, 192 or 120 is perfectly enough um, and then we can just export and yeah once that's done we're good to go okay so we have our exported files um, so this is the sequence as you can see it's 50 megs and then we have the other guy this is the original the raw footage dropped it down considerably um, that's what the HU64 uh, codex does That that's why you don't edit with it that's that's a delivery format you edit in raw so the actual program doesn't have to deal with the whole decoding of it and once you're done editing you encode it as h264 which is perfect for uh, Vimeo YouTube all that good stuff yeah so that's all guys